hello guys welcome back to the channel it simplified in today's video in azure i'll show you how to create geo replication of your sql database that we deployed in our previous video so if you have been following our track we deployed a database with the name its which was in canada central so what we are trying to achieve in today's session is uh, basically we'll try to configure the uh, geo replication so let me just quickly go so we created resource group in Canada Central and in that we deployed a database with the name ITS which is IT Simplified. So what we are trying to achieve is we want to create a replication of our database and this will be deployed in say East Canada. So the idea is basically in case uh, the whole region of Azure goes down, so this whole region of Canada Central goes down, we can always uh, bring this up in our secondary region, which is going to be East Canada. So let's look at the steps involved in that. So let me go to my Azure portal. And this is the database I'm talking about, IT Simplified. So let's go inside this. And if you go under the setting, you see I have this geo replication. So you can highlight and go inside. And the one with the blue sign you will see is our primary database, which is Canada Central. And it is online right now. And if you look at under the secondary, geo replication is not configured. But we have all these regions uh, over here that we can pick from. In my case, I will pick Canada East highlight this and you can see that region is already picked up the database name obviously we cannot change it is a readable copy so it means that we won't be able to edit uh, our, our database uh, but obviously it can be brought up or failed over which is okay so if you go into the target server uh, we need to give the server name I'm gonna name it IT simplified replica and give the SQL Server authentication. Location is Canada East and you pick select. And if you remember that it was single database, so it means elastic pool, it's none and the Pricing tier was basic, which is two gig, which is great, which is okay with us, and you click on okay. So the deployment is in progress. You can expand this notification tab, and uh, you will see that uh, this deployment is taking place. So you can close this. So basically what is happening is that uh, the seeding is taking place for from our primary database, which is in Canada Central. And it is now seeding all the information to the East Canada location, which is our failed over location. So let's go back and wait for this process to complete.
So the seeding seems to have completed and you can see that it is now readable. So what I want to test is, is now I want to see if I am able to uh, connect to this database or not. So let me just go to IT Simplified Replica and uh, very similar to the way that we did previously, I also need to allow my local computer to have access to this database. So I'm gonna add my add client IP, which is my uh, internet facing IP address. Click on save. It has updated the firewall rules because by default, everything is blocked. Come out of this. And now, let me go to the properties grab the server name, copy this and go to the management studio. And here I'll try to connect to the database engine, which is uh, IT simplified replica, provide the appropriate credential and hopefully we'll be able to connect. Okay, it says login failed. Let me see why. Nope, it's not allowing me to connect. So let me just go back to my server and see if the firewall rule was changed or not. I think it was changed, but let's double check. Yeah. Okay, so it just took some uh, time, but I'm able to, as you can see, that uh, connect to our database. So if I expand my database, you will see that IT Simplified is uh, obviously there because it's a replica. So let's test this even further. So what I want to do is I want to create a table uh, within my primary database and I will see if uh, that table get replicated. So as you can see that there is no table right now in my uh, in my primary database, which is in Canada Central. So let's go and uh, create a table. So I'm gonna go highlight table. Yes, I want to create new table. And uh, let's create some employee information. So let's have an employee ID. It's gonna be integer based. Null is okay with me, I'm testing it. Then I have uh, employee name. I will restrict this to 10 characters. Then also include the salary, include, uh, and then I can also include age, which is, uh, will make a tiny integer. Okay, and if I go and uh, save table, I will name this as employee info and click on okay. So here you can see that uh, uh, this was uh, created successfully. So this is the employee information. So if I go now to table and just refresh this, I should see that employee info is there. So what I want to see is that it should also replicate it to my secondary database. So if I expand my IT Simplify database and go under tables, I should see employee info here too. Here we go. So as you can see that the replication is taking place from my primary database 
to secondary database and that is what we were trying to achieve and in case something happens to my main location obviously I can fail over to the secondary location. I hope you found this video on a Jira application useful in SQL single database in platform as a service offering. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.